the amazing pumpkin. One spring morning, Jan and Scott headed out to the field with a shovel and some pumpkin seeds. Dig in the dirt here. Jan told Scott. Scott planted the seeds in the hole, and Jan covered them with the dirt. Soon, our seeds will begin to grow into a pumpkin. I can't wait! He said excitedly. Summer arrived, and the days turned hot. Light and warmth from the sun helped the pumpkin plant grow roots and blossoms. Water the plant. Scott told Jan, as she watered, they heard a tiny voice. Thank you. It said. Did you say something? The surprised children asked each other. Jan and Scott. Began to look around the pumpkin patch. They saw a small fruit poking out from under the leaves. You don't think the pumpkin said that, do you? Scott asked. I don't know, said Jan. How strange! The children returned each day to check on their pumpkin, hoping to hear the voice again. They watered the pumpkin when it was dry, and weeded the patch so it could grow freely. But they didn't hear any voices. One fall day, the children heard another voice. "I'm ready," it said. "Who's ready?" They asked curiously. "I'm ready. It's time for the harvest," said the voice. "But who are you?" Jan asked. <laughs> "It's me, silly. Your pumpkin." It said. The children couldn't believe it. "Cut my stem and take me home." The pumpkin told them, "Let's make you into a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween." Said the children excitedly. "Sure, I'll be the best jack-o'-lantern ever," replied the pumpkin, and they all went home. Listen carefully to train your ears. The amazing pumpkin. One spring morning, Jan and Scott headed out to the field. With a shovel and some pumpkin seeds, dig in the dirt here. Jan told Scott. Scott planted the seeds in the hole, and Jan covered them with the dirt. Soon, our seeds will begin to grow into a pumpkin. I can't wait. He said excitedly. Summer arrived, and the days turned hot. Light and warmth from the sun helped the pumpkin plant grow roots and blossoms. Water the plant. Scott told Jan, as she watered, 
they heard a tiny voice. Thank you. It said, Did you say something? The surprised children asked each other. Jan and Scott began to look around the pumpkin patch. They saw a small fruit poking out from under the leaves. You don't think the pumpkin said that, do you? Scott asked. I don't know, said Jan. How strange. The children returned each day to check on their pumpkin, hoping to hear the voice again. They watered the pumpkin when it was dry and weeded the patch so it could grow freely. But they didn't hear any voices. One fall day, the children heard another voice. I'm ready, it said. Who's ready? They asked curiously. I'm ready. It's time for the harvest, said the voice. But who are you? Jan asked. <laughs> it's me, silly, your pumpkin. It said the children couldn't believe it. Cut my stem and take me home. The pumpkin told them. Let's make you into a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween! Said the children excitedly. Sure! I'll be the best jack-o'-lantern ever! Replied the pumpkin. And they all went home. <laughs>